Hi, my name is Courtney Terry and this is Arts Alive. My guest today is Amanda Weidmark and you are the executive director Correct. for yes. the West Valley <laughs> Community Campus, which is located at the old high school building in Wilhelmina. Yeah. Um, and you all do a bunch of amazing things out there from live music <laughs> to Fourth of July, um, but we are specifically talking today about the Coastal Hills Art Tour, yeah. which is coming up. November 10th and 10th 11th. And 11th. Next, next week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. dang. Oh, woo. <laughs> um, and it's an event that they've had in the West Valley community for a while, mm -hmm. but this year it's a little different. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's uh, we're celebrating the 31st annual Coastal Hills Art Tour. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So it's been uh, around for a long time. Yeah. And um, it's actually been said to be the first original art tour in Yam Hill and Polk counties. <gasps> Ooh. So, what? I mean, yeah, I there, know that. There's some verification I, needed in that, but that's what has been claimed. <laughs> I, I mean, Art Harvest did just is celebrating their 30th year this year, and mm. the math is not. Well, <laughs> we'll have to look at that'll That'll yeah. be, that's another interview episode. Right. <laughs> but. And so how many artists are participating? Yeah, so we have over 20 artists and groups um, participating this year, and we have a lot of new artists and groups participating this year, so we're really excited. Oh, that's so cool. And yeah. so um, kind of the layout of it, in previous years it had been kind of in different locations mm -hmm. in the West Valley. How is it, how is it set up for this year? It's uh, like that this year also, so we're at about eight locations oh, cool. um, throughout Wilhelmina, um, and it's kind of spread throughout town. Um, and we do have part of it at the West Valley Community Campus, uh, other parts at local businesses, and then we also have uh, the Wilhelmina History Museum participating and East Creek Art Studio, which is up Wilhelmina Creek away. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. the pottery. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. I know yeah. uh, they do like student classes yes. or student groups can go out there and use mm -hmm. the kiln out there. That's so neat. And then so um, the different artists and it's the, so it starts mid-morning. People can just kind of start anywhere. Yeah, so it's, um, November 10th and 11th, Friday and Saturday from nine to five okay. is when everyone's participating. Um, there's not a certain uh, starting point, but you can start anywhere. Um, and we do the take the tour also, um, which we have little uh, itinerary postcards with mm -hmm. all the locations on it. And if uh, visitors go to every artist, they get entered for drawings to win prizes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. Always great to have the prize drive. Right. Included. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Willamina is, you know, it's it's a small enough place that it really is very manageable to be able to hit every artist on in those different stops. And so, um, would folks go online to get uh, the information? We should say it's free. Yes, it is free. It's um, free to go to all these places. The only thing that will cost money is if you find something you love and want to purchase, supporting the local artists. Absolutely yeah. encouraged. <laughs> um, so they can go to westvalleycommunitycampus.org to find information under our art tab. Um, and we also are on Facebook and Instagram under West Valley Community Campus, and the map will be posted up there as well. That's so cool. And then um, you, so you'd mentioned you are relatively new to mm -hmm. Willow Minor. You've been, you moved from Phoenix, and mm -hmm. you've been here for how long? Yeah, so I started, uh, I moved here and started at the campus in July of last year. Oh, so okay. Just a little over a year. Well, and that's yeah. like, and so, and this year the art or the art tour ha wasn't happening, and so what was that like for you? Kind of getting to you really just d dove right in, did I, I did. I jumped right in. <laughs> you know, I came after Fourth of July, which is probably our 
one of our biggest events of the year. Absolutely. Um, but I, I did come in time to dive right into Wet Season Music Series and the art tour. Um, and so I was really there just to assist and absorb last year. And we have some great volunteers. Chris Starr, she tried to make it today but couldn't. Um, she's helping run things. We have our quilters group. The quilt show is a really big function of the art tour. Um, so I've just been getting more and more hands-on since I've been here. <laughs> yeah, and that's, I had forgotten about the quilt show. Cause that is that in the VFW hall in it's, Wilhelmina? It's going to be in the campus auditorium. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, that'll be a really cool venue mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, last year it was great because they quilters had been off for two years so they had three years worth of quilts to show oh my goodness. and I'm sure they still have some of those from last year and all the new ones they've been making this year um, so the the quilters have uh, their own designated room at the campus and it's my favorite place to stop in because it's always just a beehive of activity yeah well absolutely well and I love um I've, some of those quilts are just, they're just oh, a stamp. Like the, they're gorgeous. The artistry involved. Yes. <laughs> um, and what all, like, so we have quilters. Like, what all different kind of artists are you yeah. able to find in the Willamina area? Yeah. So there I'm, are many. There are a lot of artists in our area. We're really lucky. And I'm excited this year because we have different student groups. We have, like, Art Conspiracy and Great. some of the high school students. Um, and doing different types of media. Um, we have uh, engraving, woodworking, painting, photography, uh, watercolor, the pottery. Um, there's, I know, some like perler bead actions going on. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, some fabric arts. Um, we have Glory Cookies from McMinnville participating. Um, so all the different types of media There's so and many. all the different ages, yeah. And ages too. And so you had mentioned um, Art Conspiracy, which mm -hmm. is a summer camp for mm -hmm. youth that kind of focuses on all. So will this, the, are there other student groups that like... Tell me more. Tell me yeah. more about the student. How are the kids involved? Yeah. That's so wonderful. So, um, one of the locations on the tour is uh, Wilhelmina's Mayor Skyberg's home. Okay. They have a really nice drawing room, um, and they'll be hosting um, some of the career technical students that have different types of art. Um, I'm I haven't seen exactly what they're producing yet, but I'm sure it'll be great. So high school students there. Yeah. And then Art Conspiracy. Um, they host all ages. They had uh, their camp at the Sheridan High School this past summer, mm -hmm. and I got to go and visit them and see what was being created. That's so cool. And um, they had all different types of classes with muralists and paper mache, and uh, they were practicing Shakespeare. Um, <laughs> so well-rounded. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think youth art is just so important in that creative outlet, so we're happy that um, those students can be part of the art tour too. Yeah, and it's neat that community members are literally opening up their homes for yes, it. Yes, absolutely. There are a couple of uh, homes actually are opened up for the art tour. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're um, obviously the campus mm -hmm. and Mayor Skyberg's home. Mm -hmm. And then um, the other locations, let's see if I can lift, lift them off the top of my head. <laughs> um, there's the Willamina Christian Church and okay. Willamina Free Methodist Church. There's the uh, Willamina Public Library, um, Hop and Brettle Realty, mm -hmm. um, and let's see, I'm missing some, I know. Uh, there's the East Creek Art Studio, um, there's the History Museum. Mm -hmm. Do the, I know in previous years they've used the fire hall. Yeah, I don't think we're Not using the fire hall okay, okay. this year. I think those are... <laughs> the main and I'm probably missing one or two but it, it, it's a nice spread yes yeah well and and um, weather weather dependent like yeah. you could walk it it's yeah. such a nice <laughs> like it is like in Willamina it's a um it's a good town for strolling yeah I would and say. the only location that uh will need a little drive is the East Creek, East Creek Pottery Studio which I recommend people go to if they can because I believe they'll be firing their very special kiln oh cool um, and it's
it's just an awesome place to go visit. Um, but we will also have a couple other pottery pieces at the campus auditorium. So if people can't make it up there, they can still see uh, products from the East Creek Art Studio. Oh, that's so cool. And, well, and it's neat to have, be able to have that kind of more interactive, like watch the artist in there, like doing the thing. There will be a couple of artists who are demonstrating how they work or, or oh. doing custom work. Mm -hmm. um, I know our the West Valley Engraving will be showing how his lasers work and doing live demonstrations. Um, and That's so cool. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure a couple others. I know um, we have some new photography artists that will be having a catalog and are open to custom orders. So oh, that's it's so a great cool. place for holiday shopping as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And get just between like jewelry and artwork. I saw um, one of my favorite, uh, Tyler Crook, who is mm -hmm. a graphic novel yeah. artist and author will be there too. Yeah, he'll be at the library and he does oh, amazing, nice. amazing work, amazing illustrations. That's cool. I love that you factored the Willamina Public Library is yeah. involved too. Yeah, they were involved last year also. They're very supportive of art and they're great partners to have in, uh, in our community. I would hope so. Yeah. In a <laughs> library. And that's what, this is going to be such an exciting event for the community campus. And then what kind of other things are going on with the campus? I know that you're yeah. in the middle of a, like you're run, you're Working on renovations and yeah, we're going under uh, we're un undergoing architectural studies currently so that we have proper permitting throughout the uh, entire campus, Whoa. which is uh, super important for moving forward. Yeah, and we're excited to be going through this phase. Um, and but we do have our wet season uh, music series, which I mentioned before, mm -hmm. um, that will be returning. November 18th this year oh, okay. and going on typically it's October through March but our October was bumped through April so we're doing November through April that's still I mean it's still yeah. rainy season it's still rainy, still season. rainy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's the third Saturdays at 7 p.m. Um, so we have fun lineup there um, and those are free concerts yeah, yeah. and um, there are some do people dinner is sometimes you can yeah. purchase dinner and mm -hmm. it is a we invite uh, community nonprofits to come and serve dinner so it's a fundraiser for them and mm -hmm. it's cheap yummy dinner dinner for the community they i i can absolutely yeah. <laughs> confirm that they are delicious and it's fun it's just a cool like i know i'm not from willamina but anytime i would go into the high school with someone who was from there like it's always just such a cool thing for people to be like this is it's it has so much history, mm -hmm. but at the same time, there's so many new and exciting things that are that are happening there. I, I love doing tours of the campus because mm -hmm. oftentimes I do tours with people who graduated from high school there, and they can tell me all kinds of history and tidbits that I didn't even know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Small towns are good for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, well, let's recap a little bit. The, so the Coastal Hills Art Tour, it's happening Friday the 10th and Saturday the 11th, so this next weekend, not yeah. this too soon, <laughs> uh, 9 to 5, and folks can start kind of anywhere. They can go, so westvalleycommunitycampus.org mm -hmm. is the website, and yes. um, the map will be online, so they know where to start. could start anywhere. Yep. It's all free, but uh, it sounds like a really good reason to come out to Willamina in a couple weeks. Absolutely, yeah. There's always good reasons to go out <laughs> to Willamina, I should say. But yeah, we're a small community with a lot of heart. Yes, I'm, that, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, Amanda, thank you so much for your time and sharing with us about the art tour and the um, community campus. Absolutely. Thank you guys for having me. Thanks. This is Courtney Terry, and this has been Arts Alive.